one of the most popular diets in recent years has been the no-sugar diet. The premise is simple, cut sugar from your diet for a short period of time and reap the benefits that can come with it. But what exactly happens when you quit sugar for two weeks? With so much research available, it's easy to assume quitting sugar would be beneficial for your health. However, there are potential risks associated with extreme changes in eating patterns which should always be taken into account before beginning any new diet. The first thing to consider is that cutting out sugar doesn't necessarily mean cutting out all carbohydrates. While some forms of carbs contain added sugars, many complex carbohydrates such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and legumes are naturally low in sugar but high in fiber and other important nutrients. Therefore, it's still important to make sure you're getting enough of these foods while cutting back on added sugars. The immediate effects of stopping your regular intake of the sweet stuff can vary from person to person. In some cases, you may experience headaches or fatigue due to a drop in blood sugar levels as your body adjusts to the sudden change in diet. You may also feel withdrawal symptoms such as cravings for sugary snacks. While this is normal when reducing sugar intake, it can be difficult to resist temptation so it's best to plan ahead and have healthier alternatives ready when you're feeling peckish. Now for the good news, cutting down on added sugar can have several positive benefits. Many studies show that reducing your sugar intake is beneficial for heart health as it helps to lower cholesterol levels and reduce inflammation. It can also help to improve your mood, increase energy levels, and maintain a healthy weight. So how do you go about cutting out sugar? The first step is to read labels and become aware of the different names for hidden sugars. You should also limit foods that are high in added sugar, such as sugary drinks, desserts, and processed snacks. Instead, switch to healthier alternatives with less sugar or no added sugar at all. If quitting cold turkey is too intense for you, then try reducing your intake gradually over time. Start by swapping one sugary snack per day for a healthier alternative. Eating fewer desserts can also help reduce your overall sugar intake. Cutting out added sugars can be even more challenging if you have food cravings or an addiction to sweets. Fortunately, there are ways to manage cravings and break a sugar addiction. One strategy is to increase your water intake and drink throughout the day. This can help reduce cravings by keeping you hydrated. Eating more protein-rich foods, such as beef, poultry, fish, eggs, and nuts, can also help to reduce cravings because they contain amino acids that can help regulate cravings for sugar. Another way to manage cravings is to distract yourself when you feel tempted by sugary snacks. Take a walk outdoors or do something creative like painting or crafts. You could also try mindful activities like yoga or meditation to shift your focus away from food or sugary snacks. It's important to plan ahead and have healthy options ready to grab and go when your cravings become too strong. Having a few pieces of fruit or a handful of nuts around will help you to satisfy your sweet tooth without reaching for sugary snacks. After two weeks, you should start to notice some positive changes in your body and mind. Many people report feeling more energized, having better sleep patterns, and noticing an improvement in their skin after giving up sugar for two weeks. The decline of inflammation in the body can lead to improved digestion and elimination as well. In addition to these physical benefits, quitting sugar can also have psychological effects. People often report feeling less anxious and stressed out after quitting sugar for two weeks due to the reduction of blood glucose fluctuations which can affect mood. Emotional eating cravings can also be reduced with this type of sugar detox, allowing you to make better food choices overall. The most difficult part of giving up sugar for two weeks is probably dealing with the cravings and withdrawal symptoms that many people experience initially after quitting. The key to success here is to replace sugary snacks and drinks with healthier options such as fresh fruits, nuts, yogurt, or even healthy smoothies made from superfood ingredients like avocado or spinach. You may even want to try replacing your usual sources of caffeine, such as coffee or tea, with herbal teas which have a calming effect on the body while still providing energy. In addition to snacking on healthier alternatives like fruits and nuts, it is important to make sure you are eating balanced meals throughout the day. Eating a balanced diet will help to keep your blood sugar levels stable and provide enough energy for you to get through the day without feeling too hungry or excessively fatigued. You should aim to include protein from sources such as lean meats, fish, eggs, legumes, tofu, and nuts, 
complex carbohydrates from whole grains like quinoa and brown rice, healthy fats such as avocado and olive oil, and plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. During this two-week period when you're giving up sugar, it is also important to stay hydrated by drinking at least eight glasses of water each day. Staying hydrated can help with cravings as well as keeping your energy levels up. One of the most noticeable changes you will experience when giving up sugar is a decrease in body weight. Sugary foods are often high calorie, so by eliminating them from your diet you can expect to see some pounds drop off over the two weeks. However, it's important to remember that achieving and maintaining a healthy weight should be done through nutritious eating and regular exercise rather than placing unnecessary restrictions on yourself or embarking on an unhealthy fad diet. If you have been consuming large amounts of sugary drinks such as soda, then after just two weeks without them your teeth may already feel much cleaner and look better too. This is because the sugars found in many soft drinks provide food for bacteria and can lead to tooth decay. Removing them will not only help your teeth, but it could also reduce the risk of developing serious problems such as gum disease or cavities. Eliminating processed sugars from your diet may also have a positive impact on your skin. Sugars can lead to an increase in oil production which can then contribute to breakouts, whereas cutting back on sugar intake is thought to be beneficial in reducing acne. After two weeks without added sugars, you may find that your skin looks clearer and healthier than before. If you are used to consuming large amounts of sugar, then after just two weeks without it, you may already start to feel more energetic. This is because when we consume sugary foods, our blood sugar levels spike, then drop quickly, which can leave us feeling fatigued. By cutting out processed sugars, you will be regulating your blood sugar and energy levels more effectively, leading to an overall increase in vitality. Another potential benefit of quitting sugar for two weeks is that it may help with weight loss. Processed sugars are usually high in calories but low in nutrition, so swapping them for healthier options such as natural fruits could lead to a reduction in your calorie intake and therefore potentially losing some excess fat. It's important to note here that if a balanced diet was already practiced before the two-week period then the weight loss may not be significant. It is also possible that after just two weeks of quitting sugar, you will start to experience a reduction in cravings. Your taste buds will potentially begin to recognize more natural sweetness in the food you eat, such as that found in fruits and vegetables. This, over time, should lead to less cravings for processed sugars and an overall healthier eating pattern. After two weeks of quitting sugar, it is possible that your mood could also improve. While this can be affected by numerous factors including diet, stress levels, and hormones, processed sugar has been linked to causing minor dips in mood due to its effects on serotonin production. By cutting out processed sugar from your diet for two weeks, you might notice improvements in how you feel emotionally. The physical benefits may not only be seen in the first two weeks of quitting sugar, but also over a longer period of time. A reduction in processed sugar intake can lead to lower blood pressure, reduced levels of bad cholesterol, and an overall healthier weight. This is due to the fact that when you reduce your sugar intake, it can help prevent pathways associated with inflammation which causes damage within our body systems. Overall, quitting sugar for two weeks could be beneficial both mentally and physically. It is important to remember, however, that if you are going to cut out processed sugars from your diet for any period of time, it should be done safely as a drastic change in diet can have adverse effects on mental and physical health if not monitored correctly. Replacing sugary snacks with healthier alternatives such as fruits, nuts, or seeds can help to keep your cravings at bay. If you're looking for a way to reset your diet and kickstart healthy habits, quitting sugar for two weeks may be a great place to start. Quitting sugar can give you more energy, improve mental clarity, and increase the likelihood that you will make healthier decisions when it comes to food choices in the future. It is important, however, to remember that this should not be seen as an excuse for an all-or-nothing approach. Moderation is key when it comes to maintaining both physical and mental health. By cutting out processed sugars from our diets, we are likely to experience fewer cravings and see an improvement in our overall energy levels. During the two weeks, try to avoid all forms of added sugars such as honey, molasses, and syrups. Eliminating these can help reduce inflammation in your body and lower the risk of developing chronic diseases. In addition to cutting out processed sugars, you should also strive to limit foods that are high in natural sugar content such as fruits and vegetables. While these types of food have many health benefits, they can still contain a significant amount of sugar which could undo some of the progress you have made by eliminating other sources. 
Aim to eat one or two servings per day when possible.